All right, time for another video update. We've been going door to door to heal the sick in our city uh, on purpose to drive out sickness and disease. And the thing we always tell them when we come to the door is that, we're in your, that we belong to a group of people who are devoted to the eradication of sickness and disease because we are here on purpose taking dominion in our city over these things. Uh, this is how Jesus commanded us and instructed us to do it as disciples, as sons of God. And uh, well, oftentimes we're out here confronting spirits and things that have not been confronted ever or yeah. in a long time at least. And today was no different. Uh, multiple people healed. Um, Matt and I were on a team and um, Ben's back there too, hiding. Uh, but uh, we ministered to many people who... Uh, requested prayer or just were ne not necessarily sick, but wanted us to pray for them. Uh, a couple, three people we prayed for who had no symptoms. There was a cancer and there's a high blood pressure, mm -hmm. but they have to have a test, you know, but those people experience the power of God, right? Yeah. And they, they all, today they all said the same thing. I feel so light when you prayed for me, which is the, it's the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives. You guys, James, you guys had some uh, uh, healings, instant healings today uh, with people that were dealing with fibromyalgia and other stuff. Yes. Why don't you give us those testimonies real quick? Um, I had a lady named Nicole. Um, she was a born again believer. And you could tell right off the bat, you know, she said that we were meant to be there. Oh, okay? wow. But she also, you could tell, she was feeling convicted by us being there because wow. she knows that she was supposed to walk in hell. She was wow. having severe back pain. Oh. So we gave her, talked a little bit, gave her a quick lesson, but then we prayed, Levi and I, and she was healed. Okay. Awesome. But she was still dealing with a little bit of the conviction. <laughs> you know, she was hit pretty hard, yeah. pretty, pretty teary eyed. Yeah. She was set free. But then we had a, a husband and a wife were both dealing with pain, and his is fibromyalgia. Okay. And he's supposed to have two discs fused together. He'd already had two done, but he's supposed to have two more for that. Wow. To where he had back pain and his hands were numb. Wow. And hers was back pain, but we can't remember exactly what it was. Um, some other disease? Some, some kind of disease. Some different. Tim and Brenda. Right? Okay. Tim and Brenda. And they're both believers, but they were very hungry, okay, for truth. Very hungry for the gospel. So we prayed on both of them and we got to them there were no pain they were completely healed in jesus name and she got hit pretty hard she, she said she got wobbly but she was dizzy <laughs> how hard she got hit yeah by the holy ghost yeah but that was a good lesson so they might be a couple that might show up at a home yeah so we we do spend a lot of time with people uh at different times teaching them and helping them because I mean, we end up we end up having church like on people's front porches a lot of times because uh, the gospel of the kingdom is not prevalent in our part of America or in much in America, and so people are unaware of the dominion that a believer walks in, that, that a son of God walks in. So um, this is how Paul described it. He said we're like children being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. And sometimes that, you know, they're being tossed around by sickness and disease. They're being tossed around by fear and anxiety, by torment. They're being tossed around by bullies of all kinds. And uh, so we, a lot of times what we spend time instructing people on is the dominion of the kingdom that's inside of them through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we actually laid hands on a woman today, Matt, yeah. um, to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And she got hit. Hungry. Yeah, she got hit pretty hard, and she was hungry, asking questions. And uh, you know, she was a believer. But then our next question is always, "Have you received the Spirit since you first believed?" And she's like, "No, I haven't." And I, we said, "Do you want it?" She said, "Of course, yep. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right?" And so she had been dealing. She said, "I've been dealing with some stuff in my life." And then when we left, she goes, "I know how to deal with this now." Right? Remember when yep, she said that? Yep. I know how to deal with this now, and I'm going to go do what you said. So that's important because we are, this is what it says in Hebrews. This is Hebrews 2.14, that through death, Jesus, through his death, Jesus destroyed the one 
who has the dominion of death. And in the Greek, that word destroyed means to remove the influence. So Jesus, through his death, has, has done the work to remove the influence of the enemy. And so many times in the church, and, in, and especially in American church, uh, it's not so much about removing the influence of the enemy, like healing the sick, raising the dead, you know, seeing people set free. It's about a service, it's about a meeting, it's about an event, it's about a crowd, it's about money. Uh, but we're taking it seriously and going on purpose to remove the oppression and influence of the kingdom of darkness, house to house, street to street, neighborhood by neighborhood. And to date, we have hundreds of miracles and healings uh, throughout our entire city. I mean, just the, we, there's no way to keep track of all these exactly. Uh, we've been trying to do a better job of that and putting it online so people can see what God's doing. But hundreds and hundreds of people touched, healed, delivered, born again, baptized in the Holy Spirit, um, you know, taught, instructed, discipled to some degree. And we're, we're going house to house doing that uh, to, to destroy the influence of the kingdom of darkness in our city.